Hello, my name's Chris and I'm the editor of Mac Format. But even though I'm the editor of an Apple-focused magazine, I'm interested in all kinds of technology. And actually, recently, one of the things I've been most interested in is Chromebooks. Now, Chromebooks, if you haven't heard of them, are essentially usually cheap, low-powered laptops that give you access to Chrome OS, which is Google's Chrome web browser-based operating system. You can't run apps on it like you would normally. You can only run web apps. But as an Apple user, there are five reasons why you might be interested in Chromebooks as well and why you should consider buying one, especially this one called the HP Chromebook 11, and it's really, really nice. So reason one why you might want to be interested in this is that it's cheap. This is £229, so for 230 quid or $280, you get a laptop. It feels fantastic in the hand, feels really nice. There's a magnesium chassis, so there's no flex on it at all. And if we open it up, there's a pretty decent IPS display in this. Most uh, previous Chromebooks have had fairly crappy displays, but this one's actually really nice. Keyboard feels fantastic. The whole thing is put together really, really well. And in fact, there's one extra little touch I want to show you while you're here. There's a micro USB port, and that's actually used for charging it. So you charge it like you would a mobile phone. So reason two then, it's cheap, but it's not crap. Reason three, it's actually really secure. Now, because it runs Chrome OS, there isn't the ability to execute malicious code in the same way as there is on a normal Windows PC, let's say. Uh, and it's constantly keeping itself updated in the background as well. So you've always got an up-to-date, comparatively secure uh, browser. Also, it feels pretty maintenance-free. It's a bit like using an iOS device. You're not constantly having to tend to it and repair permissions and do various sort of housekeeping tasks with it. It behaves itself really well. Reason four, it runs iWork. Well, it kind of doesn't run iWork because it can't run apps in the same way as you'd expect them to on a Mac, but it runs Apple's new iWork in iCloud web apps. And actually, the web apps are pretty good. They run okay on here. They're a little bit sluggish on the ARM processor that's inside here, but they run actually okay. So you've got access to all your documents through iCloud. You can use them on this device, and you've got a kind of Apple-like experience in there as well. The very last reason, actually, is that while it's not particularly fast, it is powerful enough. Now, you're not going to be doing high-end video editing on this, or 3D, or even much image manipulation, but as a general purpose kind of office laptop, it's really nice. And if you've got, let's say, a powerful iMac sitting on your desk, but you want something cheap, quick, secure, nicely put together to take out in the road, chuck in your bag and take to the coffee shop and do some writing, this is really, really nice. 229, built like an absolute beauty. It really is stunningly put together. It's real Apple level quality of detail. I think this is a winner.